On the grounds, midpoint actually, of the 2013 U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in beautiful sunny Sebring, Florida, when it wasn't supposed to be sunny. Mm -hmm. We're obviously looking at what's new and interesting here on the grounds, and Sam has caught our attention. Tell us about Sam. Well, uh, Sam Aircraft is our new uh, aircraft, and uh, we began the design five years ago. Uh, we wanted a, a retro-looking aircraft like the Ryan ST, the Varga Kachina, but with uh, modern uh, flying characteristics, modern design, modern uh, engine and instrumentation. It was a challenge to have this uh, retro uh, silhouette uh, and uh, modern technologies and uh, offer something innovative uh, like the canopy. You can fly open canopy mm -hmm. or close canopy and it's very easy. It's three hinges to take out and you take out the rear canopy to fly open air. We have also uh, available nose wheel and tail wheel uh, version. Uh, we designed that. This one is the nose wheel uh, steerable version and we have also uh, designed the aircraft to accept three different wings. So from the 25 uh, uh, feet uh, uh, wingspan, 28 feet wingspan and the biggest wing is a 31 feet wingspan. And uh, the aircraft has been designed so you don't change anything just and to change the wings. So you can uh, fly faster with the small wing uh, uh, during the winter and if you want to have short field capabilities you put the, the big wing, uh, the uh, 31 feet wing uh, during the summer. What is your market? What are you looking to do from a standpoint of who are you looking to attract to this airplane? We designed this aircraft for the Canadian and the American light sport markets. It's the same aircraft for both uh, countries, so it's going to be ready to fly and kit. Now from a kit standpoint, how are you going to approach a kit market? The kit is either complete or in sub kits. We have also the fast build kit with the wing and fuselage done at 75%. Now, from what I understand from the stats, you're talking about some pretty significant low capabilities on the airplane. Will it be aerobatic? It has basic capabilities, even though we design the empennage to have a lot of control, so it's a big rudder, big H-tab. For the structure, we test it up to 7.9G Ultimate, so it's a 5.2G limit load. Now, when you look at LSA and you look at these configurations, there's a number of choices that can be made in terms of engines and avionics and so forth. What are you looking at in that area or are you going to let uh, the market decide that? Well, we propose uh, the uh, SAM LS uh, with the Rotax uh, 912, uh, either 80 horsepower or 100 horsepower. We can also propose it uh, a turbocharge and the new uh, injection fuel. Regarding the instrumentation, we put a Dynan 10-inch Skyview display with a backup instrumentation. So it's altimeter, speed indicator, turn coordinator, basic instrumentation and, of course, Garmin radio and the ELT i got to ask, what kind of price are you looking for? The ready to fly is going to be 135000 with uh, leather seating, uh, dual controls and uh, all the characteristics I just said. And the kit is 39000 with no engine, no instrumentation, no paint, no fluid. But everything else is pre-drilled, pre-band, CNC matched holes. And as I understand it, you're looking for initial availability this summer? Yes, we are taking uh, orders right now and I have already uh, two orders in Canada and uh, waiting for more orders in order to launch production, I hope, in a couple of months. And what's your schedule on LSA certification? It's going to be uh, September, October uh, 2013 for the ready to fly. The kit is going to be much sooner than that. Well, we thank you much for your time. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers, and it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com. Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. 
fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristel.com. Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. 